Wow, 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 cold coin, not my own though. Right. Just documenting the evidence. Right. Okay. Monday, twenty the seventh, twenty twenty, offer of a repair to the medical loan of a wheelchair. My call, how conveniently it gets broken the foot plate and so that got repaired. Eventually I'll call under the rest of this medical company in my area UK. And um, this is a history, 2017, 2018, 2019, gaslighting set me up by the same employees. Anyway, it's a bit quicky turns up at literally that call was four twenty in that day. By ten two he was they don't get to my home ever all these years, ever, within 20 minutes. So he turns up the car park and he does, don't expect me to be in the car park. And, uh, where I live. And of course he usually gaslights around, take no notes of them. And I don't respond, I just, oh thank you for the repair. But it's a bit strange, this time there's no paperwork to sign. So I seek clarification, the cause recorded for my protection. Um, so, will I get an email? Will I get a phone call for the next repair? Because he found that this left side of this powered electric wheelchair, the casters are gone and they're bent. And that means putting my life at risk. And I don't do this, so they don't repair the footpaths in my area location deliberately, huh, who knows, public services for you. 
And anyway, I expected to get an email or at least a phone call after 1 p.m. PM time. And on all their records, they know exactly how to contact me and when, roughly. But it doesn't happen, so of course this is a response to targeting the gaslighting program. So I'm emailing a woman calls at 10 a.m. in the morning. It's a call centre. They don't look at their computer screens and my notes to make sure I don't get a morning call, which I can't take. So I don't see and hear that message because my device is my phone's hat till the evening. So an email went at 6.45 yesterday back to the area office. It took me a while to find a correct email, by the way. And I like to copy by email to seek clarification when the offer today, well, the next due, this particular repair I need doing. Nobody responds, of course. And then what happens today? That same male, uh, who's, he's just been told to gaslight me and cold call today for a reason. I know what that reason is. And he knocks at my bedroom window. Yeah. And my mate's got my window open. Good job, mum in. And uh, she sees the van in the car park. I goes back to the corner at the back of the area where I live in the hallway. And he wants to take my wheelchair off me. And I can't walk. And he knows that because he's been around here before when, he, when I needed this repair in September and it didn't get done to October, November. November eventually the dates was offered. And he had equipment to prop my left side of my wheelchair up. I'm holding on to bars down the hallway in the back door. It's not ideal, but best I can. And then he makes like a really sort of like a big effort, like it, oh, we don't know who can fit it, the coasters, the metal parts. So I'm just being polite and general chit chat because he's got his phone recording me in his pocket. And I clocked that and I took no notice because I know what this was about. So you perps out there using medical company employees, private medical companies paid for the public funded services in my area. And I know what it's linked up to. So you wanted to see if I was going to open the door. I do not open doors to cold call visits ever. It's by appointment only, email or letter. And then at least I know who is and what is required and what offer. Deliberately did this, so response is because I need you to respond to this. And I'm just making it clear, I know the game, so stop and cease and desist. Right, so the email to cover myself, I seek clarification. Copies of these repairs is all computerised as AI, so I knew that he'd get a call on his mobile, work mobile, while he's there to cover his back because I know that we've been monitored 24 hours a day. So this was a stitch up again. So I said to the guy, um, Storm, and I am just uh, said, oh, I hope, you're having a, I hope you're not working too hard, pacifying him, so I don't react. And uh, when you don't react to the planned stage events, they can't get anything from you. So I cover myself by an email just got sent and to seek, make it quite clear to that corporation as employees do not directly cause alarm distress, cause dispute discrimination. But I worded it carefully because I know that email will be used as well and stored and used against me. So um, I was very careful what I said. All due respect, I need a copy of the both days repairs of my wheelchair. Now how come there's a bloody sudden break in my wheelchair? You know, that's put in my physical danger. I didn't do nothing. I can't do nothing to my own bloody wheelchair. And anything I could think of was like the paths up the road from me. They don't repair them. And it can't cause such a damage of metal. This is a metal solid wheelchair. Yeah. So when I'm asleep, how to the hell do they get into your own to gaslight you and home invasions? You just fool. My goodness me, I won't even go there right now. Anyway, just a short one really, just to say, 
the email was sent at 3.30. The wheelchair service department and the head office is Southampton. And they don't respond. And this is East UK. And the cold call was it. Well, I expected it to happen. I expected something, something like this to happen. Called without a phone call. And that was... 2.50 to 3.50, well, 3.30ish, and this mail came. Yeah. Right. My conditional acceptance of the offer, Northampshire Wheelchair Service, Melbourne Healthcare Limited, area office in Kettering, UK. Yeah. NN168TL. Previous emails are gaslighting me and had to do all this before. It's the 5th 11 2019. 3rd 11 2019. 15th 11 2019. Friday 31st of January 2020. And then the repair today. And a woman called Tracy. She's a manager of the local area. I had to find this out by research. The company head office is Southampton. It's a primary care contract by UK National Health Service, NHS England Limited. Contract in my area, every town and city. The head office is in um, Southampton, UK. I even left them a message. They have an email and a phone number and they didn't bother to respond. They use computer systems and a call centre that individual don't bother to look at. The notes instead harasses me in the morning and I don't get the message. Now this is co-copied in. Um, previously I've got notes on this. Um, all the gas like my previous employees and notes about all that too. So... This is also what's known medical loan services and this is what they do. Now when you're physical disabilities and you get targeted, they also use community equipment department and I've got history 2017, 18, 19 and 2020. Well, mainly towards the latter part of 2019 they use the OT department employees. Reference to my other medical loan equipment that I use for my physical disabilities. Yeah. Hi, I'm an Argus M. So, yeah, they just put me at risk again physically this time and making it, making my wheelchair unsafe. And I was Monday, Tuesday, today, and the cold call visit today was deliberate. So, this is again just used against me. To, um, so I just wasn't going to react negatively. I'm just documenting this as evidence for Millbrook Healthcare Corporation. You see, public servants are involved in the gaslighting. So I was not going to reject the offer of service today because it's health and safety for me and my physical disability. And then the guy says to me, Oh, you need to be careful when you go out in the wheelchair. Excuse me. These are public footpaths. If they don't repair the footpaths, the public servants, the public pays taxes to, and it damaged my wheelchair, who's at fault? Not me. So, again, I'm careful. And I try to record the call, and then my phones get hacked, so my audio can't record. So I just make physical notes and do this stream. How are you? Well, this is what goes on, because the ultimate, what they're doing again, is another tactic and I've got a good job of keep record of these paper notes and this time they usually would give me a sheet a record sheet of repair jobs and no there's nothing Monday or today so I just cover my back by email and uh, it's a bit unusual the guy on Monday cold call well the way he suddenly was around in his white van to come into my area in 20 minutes. All these years I have been using the offer of these services 
uh, for my medical disabilities, never do I get 20 minutes call. It's usually like I'm waiting ages for an appointment or they deliberately don't turn up or something goes on. But suddenly he was around and then today he comes and cold calls without an appointment. Yeah? And if I turn this down, then basically they would just put it on the notes that I wouldn't answer the door. No. Good job. I have that gut instinct to just have got nothing else to do with me. But I had prepared for this, so um, my gut feeling told me to stay put, which I am, for my safety as well, for my wheelchair. And I stay put, and I just sent an email at 2.30 today to remind them, um, where's the phone call, where's the email, where's the offer appointment to repair my wheelchair? And literally, it must be monitoring my emails or communications as well. Because he cold called at my home today. So, um, I'm just documenting this. Really strange, really, is to be careful because when you know your lawful rights and you're a targeted survivor, you'd be positive and just put it in fact, even though everything's monitored, your emails and phone calls, everything else. And, uh, well, I just went back on all my old emails and saw the pattern of events. And, uh, yeah, I just suspected that this will happen again today. Well, this week and again today. There's no way I'm going to call them back. And I like to cover it by email. So, yes, now they're targeting me to using this medical device. Now... just pathetic it's just um blinking it's ridiculous but um anyway i'm just trying to make a note of this oh my paperwork as well yeah and before what they were doing the company per se Sunday 17th 2019 we're using all data as well now what I did also to cover my back on this I've just got to find my notes Okay. I made a note on the 30th of January 2020 um, for a wheelchair and then the call handler then. You see, no matter what you say, um, what requirements are and what they're meant to do lawfully, they don't <laughs> when you're a targeted individual. So I've just got... I've just got paper notes from previously in front of me. Mirror, mirage make of a powered electric wheelchair. And Milbrook Healthcare is an inter company contracted, and every town and city in England has a division. So, whether it's the wheelchair service or occupation therapy, OT equipment offer a loan service, then they're meant to be offer, like any company, appointments. Agreeable time and date. No, not for me. You have to make out that I caused this. I caused that. It's just what, unfortunately, being targeted and like this. I did make a note and I misplaced the notes again. Just bear with me. So, therefore. Therefore, today, if I didn't open the door, they would have put a note down that I am at risk and I would expect some big boys trying to push their weight to my private dwelling. They would go on public safety, my safety. They would use an excuse. 
and if I didn't open the door to him, he would alert to somebody that won't answer the door and they would be concerned because it's my wheelchair and physical disabilities and target individual. They would alert to the police, they would alert to somebody else. The next thing I'll have the big boys on my door. Oh yeah. That's how they do it before and they will try it again. So good job I had my friend, private friend, do my late lunch. And she saw the van in the car park. Yeah. Sick in it. <coughs> Here we go. So I made the notes. So my email got resent at 230 and I'm making it quite clear, do not offer a cold call visit to my private dwelling because it's unlawful without prior appointment. So yeah, the email of uh, Tuesday got resent. So Tuesday state was yesterday, 21st of 7th, 2020. And today is now uh, page four. <clears throat> I have to keep notes, excuse me, my voice is going. So the woman called Amanda, I don't know she's still working in the area office, but this is how it works. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going, I'm losing my voice. Um, it's called, if you look up how the system works in England, it's a primary care contract. And this is via every town and city, but in my area it's called, and I know it's linked back to the medical, it's all medical, Northamptonshire, or NHS, Northamptonshire Clinical Commission Group. And this is via the contract, and it's all changed since uh, March 2020, the policy. And uh, and they would go via, I won't mention the medical company practice, because they have to make up things about you then. Uh, and this is a company also, and uh, I'm just covering myself. So when you go back in your history and keep a diary or emails, and log everything, what's going on. Um, specifically in your personal situation like me, then you can back it up. So if there's any assumption, presumption, say my email. And a good job I know how their contract works. Private companies via the public funded companies in England. And uh, and just cover myself just documenting this what happened with it. So it's only I only opened the door. Didn't have to. It's a rear block of flats door by the way. The rear door and it's only under duress due to the effect of the uh, nature of the repair of my electric wheelchair. So um, they can't say I didn't accept the offer and, and this is always under duress by force and cohesion. The male in question, he, he meant well, but I know he's just used as a pawn in the gaslighting. You know? So this is a spiritual battle, just be prepare yourself. And especially with people like my situation, I have to cover my back in everything. So, and also did I say you want to take my wheelchair away? Can I just take your wheelchair away? Well, he knows from 2019, I cannot self-transfer into a manual wheelchair without a lot of my personal friends to try and help me somehow and like last year I couldn't do it for the maintenance service of this wheelchair and he knows that this guy today so he didn't need to ask me that because he knew that what the response would be and his phone was in his pocket and I could see it's you know the way he had his phone in his pocket wasn't just like coincidence 
you need to just look at every single detail just to be prepare yourself and just not prepare but be cautious and be observant and just note these things right that's it I'm just going to finish recording just now I do this to me Thank you. It's going. The weather looks terrible, by the way. I'm using it for a long time. I'm using <sighs> Day in life. I've been on all three targets. Okay, so just documenting this and um, signing out from the UK. I hope everyone's doing the best getting, trying to cope the best way you can. It's not ideal. It's just absolutely... I'm sure they do these things deliberately. But anyway, I'm going to get off here now. Goodbye, take care.